What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Off the Wall. My name is Bugs with my girl Salt. Ahsoka official trailer reaction. I'm hoping to get some dialogue between these characters. Hera's voice, Sabine's voice, you know, Ezra speaking, Thrawn speaking, that kind of thing. I really want to see just a yeah. little bit more. I don't want to see too much. Mm -hmm. I want them to not show us too much and leave stuff for the show so that way anything in the show that can really surprise us it's when we're actually watching the episodes and not when we're watching the trailer definitely yeah definitely want to see too much because i might go if it's too much war is inevitable one must destroy in order to create we are no jedi Ooh. Ooh, I started hearing you. whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. What happens when we find Thrawn? Power. Morgan Elsbeth. Such as you've never dreamed. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. And that's Stop why it. I'm trying to convince you to help mm -hmm. me prevent another one. You and I both know who could help you with this. She's Ooh. still just as stubborn oh. as ever. I bet your master found Lethal. you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him. Mm -hmm. Just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. What? As a Jedi, sometimes you have That's to right. make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Because uh, her own hair. Okay. Nice haircut. There we go. They're very Mulan esque there. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. <laughs> Buckle up. So shit. If we don't stop Throng, everything will be in vain. There he is. You have no power. <laughs> Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Who's this guy? Two episodes. Come on, two episodes. We'll have that. That looks awesome i can't wait for it and one thing that i really noticed there was them looking at that picture on the wall it was in the same like animation style of like the pictures that you would see in the animated shows whenever you'd see mm. ezra's pictures of his parents or anyone having pictures of like themselves when they were younger it was in that art style yeah just i think it looks really interesting like I wasn't 100% sold on Hera's voice, to be honest, first of all. Uh, when I just heard that, I was like, oh, who's that? So um, obviously that's kind of my problem with the actors. I'm going to have to kind of get over that because this is the show now. I do like, obviously, Sabine cutting her hair as well. Obviously, it's, it is obviously goes back to samurai time, you know, ancient samurai, you know, cutting their own hair, that, you know, kind of thing. So, and what's his whole master business? So is she yeah. like a Jedi now? Is I, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. So he's obviously using a green lightsaber. Whose is that? Where did that come from? Uh, I do want to see more of this Balin character. Obviously, we did see in the news that the actor uh, who plays him did pass away, unfortunately. But uh, he does seem interesting, like a fallen Jedi. I'm not going to lie, not 100% sold on these lightsabers as well. These like orangey. I know they see, uh, I wasn't sure if it was an article or interview, Dave Filoni saying there's a reason for that um they're not quite fully sith yet something along them lines so but it just doesn't look as aesthetically uh good as some of the other kind of uh colored ones but i do want to see his story and what that's about obviously he seems you know, definitely knows anakin it seems to know ahsoka from maybe the clone wars and stuff so i want to see more of ezra as well dying to see more of him i haven't seen him since kind of the last episode in rebels uh so want to see that it looks like a hologram of a kind of a younger version of ezra obviously still in the outfit like he wore in that memorial um on the wall so want to see more of him obviously no shot of uh, zeb obviously zeb's a, a fully cg character i'm assuming you can't have too much of him how feloni kind of does things we were gonna get way more characters and spoilers you know first full shot of thrawn as well i thought he looks great obviously played by 
um, you know, the voice actor as well. So uh, thankfully I'm relieved. Where do you think the story is going to go? Any thoughts, theories? If we're going to get any Anakin flashbacks. Anakin is in the show. Hayden Christensen is in the show. Kind of era, how old, what kind of stage this flashback is, or the dream sequences, or they force visions, I don't know. But I believe that it was announced. So he is in the show. What that looks like, don't know. Maybe an appearance from Obi-Wan as well. I'm assuming this storyline, you know, with Ezra, with Thrawn as well. Coming together of Din Djarin, Grogu, Bo-Katan, potentially Luke as well. Obviously, we know Luke and Ahsoka have met as well. So, so many tie-ins as well. I'm so glad that Filoni is in charge of this show. Disney Plus shows have been hit and misses, mainly misses, to be honest with you. Obi-Wan with Andor and with Boba Fett as well, apart from Cop Episodes. I didn't really like any of them shows. So, I'm really hoping Filoni steers it straight um and takes us home with this you know it's a big show a lot riding on it coming out august the 28th double episode hoping it's kind of more than an hour long episode as well give us a mini movie and you know get all the fans back together again and give us a great story um because it's a great time as well you know he's got freedom because you know the the years in between kind of sagas and stuff so you could see some absolutely fantastic stuff you know like a yoda force kind of vision or who, who knows i mean imagination kind of goes into full motion with, with this kind of trailer very happy that dave filoni is the one tackling this show first off it's ahsoka so of course mm. he's going to be the one tackling this uh, i yeah. hope that there's not too much studio interference in this like mm. there was in the last season of the mandalorian where yeah. they pretty much ended the baby yoda uh, grogu story but they were like, no, that's the thing that's selling so much. You have to keep extending it. The board of Lucasfilm or whoever is trying to shoehorn into the show because it's going to have all of these characters. Now, if he's able to have carte blanche and do whatever he wants, in Dave Filoni, I trust. Fantastic point. So I totally forgot about Mandalorian Season 3. It almost has no tie-ins to any other wider themes um other than the kind of mandalore issue that they have which is obviously central to the whole story but that's really it in terms of the you know uh grogu with the four stuff in terms of ahsoka in terms of any other uh, thrawn no mention of anything throughout the whole season so that was massively disappointing so i'm really hoping they were saving them themes or them storylines or continuations of them storylines to this show that's our thoughts and opinions what are, your guys thoughts and opinions on this trailer we thought was pretty good but what do you guys think if you guys are new to the channel please like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next review